Hello, this is Raja Phil once again, and today we will be discussing about buyer persona. So let's get started. There, oops, fix that, maximize that. So what is a buyer persona and how can I create one? What are the things that I need to do in order to create my buyer persona? Well, a buyer persona is just simply the picture or um, your ideal client. Um, some people call it the ideal client. Some people call it the client avatar, by the way. Um, can you imagine yourself back in the days when you were um, imagining the, the ideal person that you want to, to marry or the ideal um, person that you want to spend the rest of your life with? It's just like that. You have to imagine the ideal person that you want to work with because when you do, you will attract them and you will be able to find yourself looking for the exact match of your personality. So the person that really needs your service um, and then the person that appreciates the kind of um, skills and the kind of um, service that you offer. Now, what are the ideal um, buyer persona? Because if you're in business, you will be dealing with a lot of you know a lot of people. So you will be dealing with not just buyers or customers. You will also be dealing about freelancers. You will be dealing with influencers to help promote your products, and you will be dealing with partners. So you have to create a list of people that you want to work with along the way. And for example. Um, this is a freelancer J. For example, this is you. Um, you as a person has a profile. You have your resume, you have your, um, we call it, um, profile page. But for clients, they also have to have this particular persona. But you don't know them. How, how are you going to do it? I have additional examples here in the slides, so if you are going to take a look at these slides, you can just simply click this and check on this video. The first one is Buyer Persona Creation for Lead Generation. Another one, Buyer Persona for Digital Leader Bootcamp Handout. Um, and another one for Understanding Customer Market Segmentation. But now, let's proceed with the discussion. If the buyer persona is not clearly identified, what will happen? A lot of frustrations happen. Um, a lot of bad, um, bad things happen. Like you get a client that you don't like to work with, so it will just be one frustration after the other. Um, for example, the, the buyer that you that you were able to attract is very far or the opposite of the ideal client that you want to work with. It will just be a mess, and you will just soon find out that it's not worth working with a client that you don't like. So as early as now, you need to create a list, like what is the industry of the clients that you want to help with? Would you like to help coaches or teachers or um, lawyers or for example, um, health, um, those in the health industry, doctors, um, health gurus, health coaches. You have to segment them, you have to think about where your expertise lies. Do you have past experiences working in a particular industry? Then I suggest you choose that particular industry because you already know their language, you already know their problems, you already know the solution to their problems. Then define them as to location. Are they going to be in the US, in the UK, or in wherever? And then define their age, their gender, um, what are their hobbies, where do they hang out, what do they like doing? And once you have that, you can simply go to social media and find your ideal client there. For example, my ideal client likes to golf. So maybe there are golf um, golf groups in there that you can join in and maybe you know, build a relationship with. Um, as for me, my ideal clients are coaches, writers, and speakers. So I'm, I've joined the different um, coach, uh, groups for coaches. And um, I've also joined the National Speaker, Speakers Association, um, where most speakers are there as well. So it's easier to target them if you know where to, where they hang out, what they do, what they love doing. 
So that's just the lesson for today. It's just about the ideal client. And if you have questions, just, you know, hit me in Messenger. Send me a message. Right, that's it for now. And thank you very much for listening. And I hope you watch more videos coming out soon. Bye.